Hello and welcome to today's in-depth video on autoimmune diseases. In this video we'll explore everything you need to know about autoimmune diseases, from what they are, how they affect your body to their causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and so much more. Whether you're someone who's been diagnosed, a caregiver, or simply curious, this video will provide valuable information that can help you understand autoimmune diseases in a much clearer way. We'll also look at different types of autoimmune diseases, how they impact people's lives and the latest treatments. Let's get started. To understand autoimmune diseases, we first need to understand how the immune system works. Normally, our immune system protects us from harmful invaders like viruses, bacteria, and even cancer cells. But in people with autoimmune diseases, the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own healthy cells. This can lead to inflammation, pain, and damage to various organs and tissues. Let's break it down further. In autoimmune diseases, the immune system doesn't recognize the difference between healthy tissue and harmful invaders, so it starts attacking normal cells. This can affect almost any part of the body, including the joints, skin, blood, organs, and even the brain. There are over 80 different autoimmune diseases, each with its own symptoms and effects on the body. Let's take a look at some of the most common ones. Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is one of the most well-known autoimmune diseases. It affects the joints, causing pain, swelling, and stiffness, which can eventually lead to joint deformities. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect many parts of the body, including the skin, joints, kidneys, and heart. The symptoms can be very diverse and can flare up unpredictably. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system attacks insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, leading to high blood sugar levels and requiring lifelong insulin therapy. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, occurs when the immune system attacks the protective covering of nerve fibers, disrupting communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Psoriasis is a skin condition where the immune system causes skin cells to multiply rapidly, leading to patches of red, scaly skin. Crohn's disease causes inflammation in the digestive tract, leading to symptoms like abdominal pain, diarrhea, and weight loss. Now that we've covered the types of autoimmune diseases, let's talk about what causes them. While the exact cause of autoimmune diseases remains unknown, scientists believe they result from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Some autoimmune diseases run in families, suggesting a genetic predisposition. Certain genes might make someone more likely to develop an autoimmune disorder if triggered by environmental factors. Environmental triggers like infections, toxins, and even some medications can cause or worsen autoimmune diseases. For instance, a viral infection might trigger the onset of lupus or multiple sclerosis. Did you know that women are more likely to develop autoimmune diseases than men? Hormonal changes during puberty, pregnancy and menopause may also play a role. Chronic stress may also contribute to the onset or worsening of autoimmune conditions. The body's response to stress can affect immune function leading to flare-ups in some conditions. Symptoms of autoimmune diseases can vary greatly depending on the type, but there are some common signs that many people experience. Fatigue, pain and swelling are common across many autoimmune conditions. Some people experience joint pain, while others may experience extreme tiredness that doesn't go away with rest. Each autoimmune disease has unique symptoms. For instance, people with rheumatoid arthritis may experience joint stiffness, while those with lupus may develop a butterfly-shaped rash across their face. Many autoimmune diseases have periods of flare-ups, where symptoms worsen. These flare-ups can be triggered by various factors like stress, infections, or changes in medication. Diagnosing autoimmune diseases can be a complex process. There is no single test that can diagnose all autoimmune diseases, and the symptoms often overlap with other conditions. Let's take a look at how doctors diagnose autoimmune diseases. Doctors often start with blood tests to check for specific antibodies that may indicate an autoimmune disease. Imaging tests like X-rays, MRIs, or ultrasounds can help identify joint damage, inflammation, or organ involvement. 
In some cases a biopsy may be required to examine affected tissue and make a definitive diagnosis. One of the biggest challenges in diagnosing autoimmune diseases is that their symptoms overlap with many other conditions, making it difficult for doctors to pinpoint the exact cause. Now let's talk about the treatment options available for autoimmune diseases. While there's no cure for most autoimmune diseases, there are several treatments that can help manage symptoms and slow disease progression. Many people with autoimmune diseases are prescribed immunosuppressive medications to reduce the immune system's activity. Drugs like corticosteroids, biologics, and disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs are commonly used. Along with medications, lifestyle changes like diet, exercise, and stress management can play a significant role in managing symptoms. Some individuals turn to alternative treatments like acupuncture, massage therapy, and herbal supplements. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any alternative therapies. Living with an autoimmune disease means learning to manage your condition on a daily basis. Here are some tips to help you cope. Physical activity. Staying active is crucial for managing symptoms, as exercise can help reduce inflammation, improve mood, and increase flexibility. Support systems. Having a strong support system is key. Whether it's family, friends, or an online community, connecting with others who understand can make a world of difference. Coping with emotional health. Dealing with an autoimmune disease can be emotionally challenging, so it's important to find ways to cope with stress, anxiety, and depression. Can autoimmune diseases be prevented? Unfortunately, there's no surefire way to prevent them, but there are steps you can take to reduce your risk. Prevention tips. Living a healthy lifestyle, eating a balanced diet, exercising and managing stress can help lower your risk. Future research. Thanks to advancements in genetic research and technology, we're hopeful that new treatments and even potential cures may be on the horizon. Thank you for watching this in-depth video on autoimmune diseases. We hope you now have a better understanding of what autoimmune diseases are, how they affect the body, and how to manage and treat them. Remember, early diagnosis and proper treatment can make a significant difference in quality of life. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos on health and wellness. And as always, consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Stay healthy and take care. Stay tuned for more content on health and wellness. Please feel free to comment with any questions and we'll be happy to answer them.